All right, what's going on, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Wednesday. Excuse me. And getting back to what we're here for, the world of professional wrestling. None of this other crap that dark side shit or this is wrestling um a little bit of wrestling news though um the young bucks had signed exclusively with ring of honor so i guess that's a good thing for ring of honor um and now this is where cena haters get fuel for the fire it's been reported on f4online.com that john cena is probably going to return two weeks earlier to be at the pay-per-view TLC and have a rematch with Alberto Del Rio. Now, here's my issues with the whole situation. Uh, Cena fans have gotten used to the fact that he's going to be gone until after Christmas and... You know, this sort of like lightens up on the hate that John Cena gets. And then all of a sudden, the WWE gets him back two weeks earlier to get him on a pay-per-view. Now, in my opinion, I'm sure John Cena is more than happy to come back two weeks earlier because it's going to be in his home state of Massachusetts. It's going to be in Boston, Mass., uh, of course, as we've all seen in recent years, um, he gets a lot of booze when he comes back home. So I don't think this is going to be a huge reunion for Cena. Uh, but then again, one has to wonder, with his rematch for the United States title, what's going to happen there? I mean, they just John Cena just cannot win this title back again. Um, it, it, to me, it's just... It doesn't make any sense. Um, I think the WWE needs to repackage John for next year, start thinking about what they're going to do with him for next year, align his feuds up, and go from there. Whether or not he gets in the world title picture or not remains to be seen. I see that happening sometime down the road, but I don't see it happening early next year. So again, it's reporting that Cena will be coming back a little earlier and my way of thinking is, if you're taking time off, take the damn time off. Honestly. Nothing personal. I am a John Cena fan. But just take the time off. Tonight, TNA having their world title series continue. Uh, the main event actually is going to be Awesome Kong and Gail Kim. And why not? Because if you look down the card, um, really, the matchups really are not worthy of any type of main event status. Um, you've got Robbie E going up against Matt Hardy. So what? Uh, probably the two of the biggest names that are going to uh, wrestle each other tonight will be Abyss and James Storm. You know, we could go on all day about this match knowing that James Storm is no longer with TNA. But we're not going to do it. Um, Drew McIntyre, I should say Drew Galloway, I'm, I correct myself, goes up against Grado, who is a jobber in my eyes, but very popular in the fan, with the fans internationally. Um, he is fun to watch, but in my eyes, he's a jobber. And there, there's just a lot of matches that are set up just like this. Um, I think maybe the only other match that could be worthwhile watching would be uh, T. Gray Uno against DJZ. But again, um, the world title series continues tonight for TNA. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight, though, is I'm going to watch NXT tonight uh, just for the simple fact Samoa Joe is facing Tyler Breeze and Finn Balor uh, has a match. Um, is it Ty Dillinger? I forget who it is, but um, I'm looking forward to the Samoa Joe-Tyler Breeze match because I just want to see, you know, I've seen Tyler Breeze 
in matches before, but I want to see, you know, the reaction of the crowd tonight and uh, how well he fares against Samoa Joe. So I'm going to watch some NXT tonight. Uh, Ring of Honor, obviously, um, is on like at 11 o'clock Eastern time on Destination America. I won't be there to watch that. I may watch some of that tomorrow. But, yeah, so, um, the, the wrestling, uh, the ratings went up a bit for Raw on Monday night. I think the rating was like 2.41 compared, or 2.46 or something compared to 2.21 the week before. Uh, that was the f aftermath show for Hell in the Cell. And I, you know, I thought the ratings could have been a little bit better and should have been a little bit better considering there was purpose for Monday Night Raw this past week, um, you know, because they had uh, matches, a tournament type thing uh, to come down to a fatal four way to find who the number one contender for Seth Rollins and the WWE World Heavyweight title belt would be. And as we all know, it's Roman Reigns. So I would have thought that... Um, the ratings would have been a little better, but WWE needs to understand you need to put together a string of good shows because people are thinking about the show the prior week and saying, well, I didn't like it. I, there's there's new TV shows on like Supergirl. Um, you know, it's a new season for Big Bang Theory, um, Scorpion and whatnot on CBS. And, you know, as well as you know, the shows on cable networks and whatnot, and there's Monday Night Football. So people are saying, you know, until you, you know, show me that the the WWE Raw is going to be good, you know, we're just not going to, you know, continue to watch it fully. Uh, so they need to put together a string of some good shows. And, you know, they have, they have the superstars to do it. They just need to book it a little bit better. And maybe not focus so much on Seth Rollins and the world title. You know, go down the card a little bit. and You know, uh, focus a lot more on some of the mid-carders. And uh, a lot of people saying, well, they are because they're focusing on the New Day uh, and whatnot. And, you know, Ziggler's always in a match. Uh, we always see Neville. Uh, but there's there's other guys. There are other guys as well that don't get showcased. And bring them in. You know, because a lot of people say, we'll do it on SmackDown, but they don't even do it on SmackDown either. So, um, and then if you watch Superstars or, you know, whatever, um, you may see occasionally a Zack Ryder or a Fandango, um, you know, which both guys were pretty big at one time in the WWE. And uh, they lost their... Um, their presence due to the WWE writing and booking. The WWE has no patience. That's the problem. If they start pushing you and it doesn't work right away, they automatically want to take it away from you. And they need, they need to have patience. Um, they had patience in the past. And they still need patience uh, today. So anyway, yeah. So we got, you know, Again, we got uh, TNA tonight. We have NXT. Um, and there are also, you know, some good TV shows on. I usually like to check out uh, Law and Order, SVU. And, um, yeah. So well, that's pretty much it today. And, again, you know, don't tell us John Cena is going to be gone pretty much for the rest of the year. And then bring him back to get him on a pay-per-view. Because I'll be quite honest with you. I think it's a bad mistake by the WWE. Because the haters are only going to hate that much more. And um, and they do this, it seems like, with Cena all the time. When you when, when there's speculation he's going to be out for a long period of time. And comes back soon. The haters get on his case. And uh, whether or not it's... WWE's doing and or John Cena's doing my way is you know John take the time off be away um, you know let the haters see 
how well the WWE does without you on the show. And, uh, you know, maybe there's some proof in the pudding here. We'll just have to wait and see. So take it easy, everybody. Peace out. Be safe. Stay warm. And we'll see you all next time. This is the Iceman. Ah, the one and only Iceman's Return YouTube channel.